I'm Richard Freeman, Zoological Director of the Centre for Fortean Zoology. On the 9th of September, seven members of the Centre for Fortean Zoology from England and two members of the Centre for Fortean Zoology from Australia are off to Sumatra to hunt for the Orang Pendek. Some people have asked if there are any animals that someone could confuse the orang pendek with. Well, up at Gunung Tuju there are two animals that it would be possible for uh, a novice to confuse the orang pendek with. There are no orangutans in this part of Sumatra. In West Sumatra there is only one record of an orangutan, and that was from well over a hundred years ago, in fact about 150 years ago, and that was in Padang, and it was thought to have been brought down from northern Sumatra, um, the Aceh province. It seems that orangutans never lived in West Sumatra. What does live in West Sumatra uh, is the Siamang gibbon, the largest gibbon in the world. Uh, if one was standing up right next to me, it would be about so high, which is rather large for a gibbon. It's black, it has very long arms, and it has an inflatable throat pouch that helps it and make it quite distinct vocalisations. And if you're in the jungle for any length of time, you will hear the gibbons. And oftentimes it's said that the gibbons will start um, calling in excitement when a pendek is in the area for some reason. Maybe they fear it. Gibbons very rarely come down to the ground. It's usually only in times of drought. They move through the trees by a unique uh, mode called brachiation. When on the ground, they move in a very strange manner. I, I used to be a zookeeper and I've kept gibbons. Um, in captivity they spend more time on the ground than they, they would in the wild. And they have a very strange sort of mincing walk with their hands held up in a very strange way. So nobody who, who knows what the orang pendek is supposed to look like could really confuse a siaman gibbon with an orang pendek. Orang pendek is much bigger, more robust and it walks like a man. The other animal that there is a potential for confusion with is the sun bear, the smallest but one of the most aggressive species of bear. It has immense outsized claws which will use for ripping open rotten logs to look for um, beetles and so forth, and they've even been known to face down tigers. And they're one of the most feared animals in the upland jungles. Once again, they are black, like the orang patek is supposed to be, um, but once again, their mode of movement and walking is very unlike the orang pendek. They're quadrupeds, they move upon all fours. When they stand up, it's in a threat posture, uh, or to reach for fruit, but they will, will only walk on their hind legs for a few sort of waddling, clumsy, clumsy steps. So if you were to watch a, a sun bear for, on its hind legs for any length of time, you realise it wasn't an orang pendek. Also, they have the distinctive yellowish mark on the front of their chest which gives them the name of sun bear and they have the dog-like snout. Their prints are completely different from orang pendek prints and they show these large sharp claws. So once again anybody au fait with this animal wouldn't mistake it for the orang pendek.